It's a summer fair, um, and we actually had a big discussion with all the, the residents, and they, they think it would be a good idea to invite the outside people in so that they can actually see that it's not what they actually imagined sheltered housing to be. And we've got lots of different things going on today, like cake stand, bric-a-brac, um, the stocks, and we've got Skittles Lane, and we've got the Coconut Shy, and uh, Cuddly Toy Store and everything, you know? So we're hoping that everybody's going to have such a lovely time today. It sounds like it's like fun for the whole family as well. It is, because... Um, a lot of people bring their children and their grandchildren and everybody comes along here but it's nice for other people to see that as well because they've got this understanding that sheltered housing means they, they lose all their independence and maybe with other the outside people coming in and actually seeing it themselves and seeing that people don't lose their independence I'm here to help and assist in, in lots of different ways but basically the independence is never taken away from these people because it's a nice community spirit as well, you're saying about the gardens and they make them themselves. Yeah, well, yeah, they do the gardens and we've actually just won some um, prizes again for Thurrock and Bloom because um, they're 80 years of age plus, or young I should say, and they all come out here and they're doing their gardens and they're making them absolutely beautiful. And sometimes when you come in, all it is is the array of flowers and the smells and it's beautiful. Yeah, because. Even when we're not doing this today, we're still doing things like um, bingo and outings and going out for meals and and if you just feel a wee bit down, you can always come into the hall and have a cup of tea and, and before you know it, you can be chatting away with other people. You lose the depression very quickly. Because this event must be a nice way for you to publicise your um, complex as well. It's a great, it's a great way of, um, of um, bringing the outside in because these you know, the actual residents here hate the idea of people thinking that they're sort of like prisoners in here. And it's actually to make them see that it's not, they're not prisoners and it's beautiful and come along. And, and that way, when people get to the age of 60, they won't mind thinking, oh, well, I might go into sheltered. And it's a nice way of doing it. Because they look like they're having an amazing time as well. They're doing all the activities and stuff. Yeah, it's... Um, but don't forget, we've had a couple of weeks beforehand, so we've been working on this for weeks now, and um, it's a big, big, well, it's a big event for them, and they're loving every bit. And this year alone, we've actually been on holiday to Great Yarmouth. We all went off there together. We've been out for meals, so this is going to finish it for the summer. We've got things planned for the autumn and things planned for Christmas and everything. So they're going to be busy then. <laughs> Yeah, we've got big parties ahead of us, yeah. It's really, really going to be good fun. So, I just look at their faces and I see how happy they are. And, I, and it's not just the people, it's the families that join in. I mean, we've had people cooking cakes and things, and, that, and that's their families. So it's not just the fact of the residents doing it. It's family orientated. So it's beautiful. Yeah.